Hi friends. You are watching Success Stimulator. In this video, we are going to learn about what is Six Sigma. Before I answer to what is Six Sigma. First, we have to know why are we saying Six Sigma. Why not to say, One Sigma or Two Sigma or Three Sigma and so on. Why everyone is saying Six Sigma. To understand that, we should know. What is One, Two and Three Sigma. In general Sigma is nothing but standard deviation. Meaning. Sigma equals standard deviation. Or standard deviation equals sigma. This is a high level definition of sigma. We'll learn more about standard deviation in our next video. Alright. Now, we'll see what is one sigma. In a normal distribution, it is assumed that things that are true, for 68% of the time, are considered as one sigma events. What does it mean? In a quality monitoring process, out of 10,000 population, Assume we take 100 sample to determine population mean. Let us say, we repeat this. Take another 100 samples and determine the mean. Like this, we go on repeating this 20 times and, find the population mean each time. 13 out of these 20 times which is 68%, the population mean will be within the margin, with 7 samples away from the margin. For example, consider the expected result is 95%, with a margin of half a percent. Let's say, the result of the first sample is 95.5%, result of the second sample is 94.5%. Like this if you look at the result of all 20 samples. 13 samples will be with the margin. Meaning all 13 samples result falls between, 94.5% and 95.5%. And the result of remaining 7 samples, would be away from margin meaning either less than 94.5% or greater than 95.5%. Since only 68% of out output falls within margin this is not considered to be a good sampling methodology. So, one sigma would not be the best practice to follow, since deviations are more. Moving to two standard deviation. When it comes to two sigma, in a normal distribution, it is assumed that things that are true for 95% of the time in the events. In a quality monitoring process, for the same 10,000 population, assume we take 100 sample to determine population mean. Let us say, we repeat this. Take another 100 samples and determine the mean. Like this, we go on repeating this 20 times and find the population mean, each time. 19 out of these 20 times which is 95%, the population mean will be within the margin, with 1 samples away from the margin. For example, consider the expected result is 95%, with a margin of half a percent. Let's say, the result of the first sample is 95.5%, Result of the second sample is 94.5%. Like this if you look at the result of all 20 samples. 19 samples will be with the margin, meaning all 19 samples result falls between, 94.5% and 95.5%. And the result of remaining one sample, would be away from margin meaning either less than 94.5% or greater than 95.5%. So this is considered to be a good sampling methodology, but still, there are opportunities for improvement. Moving to three standard deviation. In a normal distribution, it is assumed that things that are true 99.7% of the time in the events. What does it mean? In a quality monitoring process, assume that we arrive at a sample size of 100. We go on repeating this 20 times and find the population mean each time. In 19.94 out of these 20 times, 99.7%, the population mean will be within the margin of error, with just 0.06 sample is away from the margin. For example, consider the expected result is 95%, with a margin of half a percent. Let's say, the result of the first sample is 95.5%, result of the second sample is 94.5%. Like this if you look at the result of all 20 samples. 19.97 samples will be with the margin and the result of remaining 0.06 samples, would be away from margin meaning either less than 94.5% or greater than 95.5%. We are achieving the result of 99.7% in 3 sigma. Now, we'll look at how are we arriving 6 sigma. Here, 6 sigma comes from the area under the normal distribution curve, after moving 6 standard deviations, away from the center, in both the sides, 3 sigma in each direction. I will repeat. 6 sigma comes from the area under the normal distribution curve, after moving 6 standard deviations, away from the center, in both the sides, 3 sigma in each direction. Moving 1 standard deviation away from 0, 
the graph center, covers about 34.1% of the data. Moving one standard deviation away in another direction from zero. Total from each direction, it is 2 sigma therefore covers twice as much. Or 68.2% of the data. Similarly, two standard deviations in either direction covers, 4 sigma, 95.4% of the data. Three standard deviations in either direction covers, 6 sigma, roughly 99.7% of the data. Falls within the margin. All right, hope you have got some fair idea about why are we saying 6 sigma. Basically, to achieve this 99.7% of success. There are many, tools and techniques available in Six Sigma, which we shall discuss in detail, in the upcoming videos. Please share your comments and suggestion for improvement. Also, share it with your friends and knowledge seekers. At last, thanks for watching.